In trying to complement the Ministry of Health efforts directed at addressing the COVID-19 and its effects, the country's highest learning institution, the University of Zambia, UNSA, has created a medical ventilation machine. Through UNSA School of Engineering, the microcontroller-based ventilator aims to provide for inspiration rationing, as it will aid patients during an emergency on transit as they are being transferred from one medical institution to another. UNSA Vice Councillor Tamara explains that during the first wave of the COVID-19, some countries across the world experienced ventilation shortages, hence the birthing of this idea to create ventilators locally and also prepare in case Zambia too would be unfortunate enough to reach to that extent. She says the newly created medical ventilator meets the minimum clinical requirements and it will definitely serve its purpose. However, she is appealing to government to assist in building the prototypes by ensuring that equipments required for such a machine are manufactured locally, as currently they had to import. And gracing the launch of the medical ventilator, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Health on behalf of the Minister in Charge, Dr. Jonas Chanda, says government is proud of local productions such as this one and that it is willing to work with such stakeholders towards the betterment of the nation. Meanwhile, speaking at the same occasion, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Higher Education, speaking on behalf of Dr. Brian Mushimba, also complimented the good efforts and the spirited fight dedicated towards curbing the COVID-19. And as was already alluded to by the team leader, this was done as a multidisciplinary project led by Professor Levy Siamengi. This development has demonstrated that it is possible to find solutions to many of our challenges within our very own borders. I am informed that the UNSA project team worked hand in hand with experts in critical care from the Ministry of Health, I think as Dr. Chandra did allude to, during the development of this project. And I highly commend these efforts and collaboration, as I am therefore very hopeful that the launch of this ventilator is only the beginning of the added financial and technical support towards uh, ridding ourselves of this pandemic. It is the Ministry's hope that launching of the medical ventilator will ensure more production of such ventilators and demonstrate the ability by local manufacturers to design and produce more local products. The team behind the innovation of the medical ventilator include the National Technology Business Center, Zambian Breweries, Lafarge, and the Association of Manufacturers, who began their implementation of the project in April of 2020. And according to the Minister in Charge of Health, the country is likely to experience the third wave of the COVID-19 estimated around June and August of 2021. Reporting for Movie TV News, Namangolwa Mundia.